I think what's actually super interesting is the next matchup, right? So Vincent versus Azalea, I think Reinar was supposed to be the easier matchup. Azalea's got a lot of on-hit effects, and Vincent does not want to give up their hand for anything. So it's going to be an uphill battle, but, you know, Azalea doesn't block all that well. He has another explosive it is. turn zero like he did last time, and it's going to be, it could be lights out. And we're getting right into the the rubber match, the game that decides the series here between Nate and Rotu. And uh, as you said, Vincent versus Azalea. It does look like Vincent gets the turn zero uh, start, creating a rune chant. Uh, we can see there's a Moth's Guys, Deathly Whale. Uh, it looks like they arsenal the pummel. Uh, so setting setting things up and letting it go to Azalea. Release the tension. I think mostly that's just going to be putting, you know, more damage on the attacks. They're really setting up. They're looking at the top cards of their deck with. Uh, so it's a little spire sniping, a little card Brody spire sniping. special. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. And this could be much really like nasty. Brody's skin, it looks like he's taking some time. Uh, he's coming in ah. for just a gentleman seven. No go again. Azalea not known for uh, for much reactions these days. So I don't think we're going to worry about uh, something else coming in. Uh, but she is she's rocking the bullseye blazes. As I say that, he pops Snapdragon Scalers and Bullseye Racers. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh what gosh. a hand. Uh, breaks the Snapdragon to give go again. Loads with the Bullseye Bracers. Gets Scout the Periphery and uh, uh, throws a Fatigue Shot. Uh, coming in buff to nine. Uh, if this hits uh, the base attack of the, their first attack action they play on their next turn, it's halved, rounded up. In the this example is... in the reminder text, it says that if they attack with a five... This is... It becomes Huge. a three. It's actually pretty big, right? So seven Quite and literally. nine is the kind of damage you want to be throwing. Um, and I think Vincent's set up to do a two attack turn next turn. Uh, Mauvern Skies into, I don't know, the attack from their uh, arsenal to the attack uh, from their banish. I, be I believe there's a pummel in their arsenal. Oh, there's a pummel in their arsenal. I believe right, so, so. It definitely looks like so they're trying to does... pummel. They're attacking uh, banished. Right, they should be threatening pummel right now. But I don't know if they can now. This is interesting. It looks like they're still right, six. They're still coming in for six. They broke the gauntlet to uh, make a two card uh, block if if they so chose. And it doesn't look like they want to. I don't blame them. Deathly Whale, uh, without the luxury of a of a real on-hit effect, uh, doesn't threaten much for Azalea. So Azalea just eats that. And uh, Vincent passes the turn. And Azalea's up with another Spire Sniping going face up, uh, getting that opt ability. We see uh, Read the Glide Path Red uh, being played. Uh, for the non-attack, so we're getting at least a plus three out of here. We see the Azalea uh, hero ability being activated, so uh, the next attack's going to have Dominate, and uh, for him with the circle... Oh, okay, encounters. Oh, Thank no. you, people who were playing the game at the time for floating their cursor over there, but Dominate with the encounter coming in for ten. Holy and Vincent's at That's one enough to end the game, but oh man, Vincent can't leave anything in their banished right now. No, oh, and they're choosing a card. They got to choose very carefully. So, so this is What's really awkward, knowing? right? So, two of what those can cards. They do oh no, they, they. Oh man, so they have two oh, cards no. in their banished so now. That pitch for that uh, have blunted, uh -huh. so you'd have to get both of those cards out in order to live. And I'm not sure. I forget what's if in their Azalea arsenal. No but I'm blocks, not sure they have a and that's it. it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, no. Azalea would have needed to no block. It would have been lethal, uh, but it looks like they just need to survive. 
uh, and get to the end step. And I believe Azalea just just takes this. Huh? What? What did I miss? That is a great question. What did we miss? Oh, he gained a How life off happen? of the attack. He gained a life off the attack. Yes, of course. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yes, the yes. The, uh, for everyone who took damage, uh, <laughs> yep. gained one life. So they went up to two and then took blood dead at the end of the turn. Sometimes Tower Shard is tricky. You know, they played the cards it super is, fast. It is. Yeah. It is. Makes sense. Makes sense. We're back at it. And uh, so isn't Azalea with a red and ledger not dominated, but coming in for eight. It is taking three cards in order to do that and then set back in the same problem. And it passes and Azalea wins the game. So any card that they would have left in hand uh, to pitch and get the, you know, I mean, they didn't have enough to get the card out of the, They didn't have enough rune chains to get the card out of their banished zone. And any card they left in hand would immediately got nope. banished uh, thanks to Vincent's ability. So I think what Vincent was looking for there was... Uh, just to absolutely snowball the game a lot earlier. Uh, yeah. Kind of like how Reinar wasn't able to do that against the Olympia in the first game, mm -hmm. um, where these, these combo decks really yep. need to blow up in order to win. Yeah. And it did see the, the cards that would have enabled that they had to throw in front of uh, some attacks just to stay yep. alive. Uh, but uh, alas, that means Rotu moves on to the semifinals of the clash bash league and the uh, the man who runs the thing will not be moving on <laughs> to uh, <laughs> anymore. So he can focus all his time on further editing these recordings. Thank you, Nate, for making the sacrifice uh, so that you can you can focus more on the craft of content. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll call it. We'll call that last game a sacrifice. Clash that's kind of what it looked like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very on brand for Vincent. You can even see the card art. She's stabbing herself all over the place. She reminds me of several of my exes. Uh, but that is going to do it for us this evening. I am Patrick Shaw. You can find me on Off the Rails TCG and at Pat Smash Good. Uh, Will, where can we find you? You can find me on the Table Pit. We do in person UPF gameplay videos and Pat. It's a pleasure to work with you. Uh, and you, as always, and I'm, that is going to do it for us tonight. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.